Good morning, everyone. I hope you guys are all having a blessed week. Uh, mine's going pretty good. I got Mr. Brody over here. He's he's watching me record as he's laying on that thick shag carpet trying not to fall asleep. Well, listen, I want to talk to you today about the armor of God. And you know what? It's something that we all know. It's in Ephesians. We've all read it a thousand times. But I wanted to hit on a couple of highlights. So it's Ephesians uh, 6, 11 through 17. This is what it says. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against powers, against principalities, against the rulers of darkness of the world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Therefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And above all, take the shield of faith, wherein ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. And take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. People, everything in this armor we need for the days we live in. You know, you and I live in a time if, if you look, just think back to 100 years ago, 200 years ago, all the way back to Adam. We're different than every generation that's ever been. And the reason we're different is everybody back did not have the technology that we have now. We have all these things coming at us. We're constantly barraged with information. Information overload, things that stress us out, things that will make us fearful if we're not careful. In other words, we have TV, we have radio, we have these stupid smartphones. And people, I honestly believe, I think the smartphone is the worst invention ever. Ever. It's horrible. But listen, in order for you to cope with all this information overload, you have to have the armor of God. And that's what I want to talk about. Verse 11 and 12 talks about who our battle is against. Principalities, powers, the rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places. People, you know, it's just like this phony, fraudulent election we just had. It's like just all the garbage that is coming out of Washington and all the garbage that's around you. People, listen, human beings are not the ones behind all this. The stage is being set for the one world government, the new world order, the Antichrist. The stage is being set, and there's nothing we can do to stop it. Nothing we can do to stop it. So what you do, don't worry about it. You need the armor of God to fight these things. What is the number one thing you need to do? And people, this will eliminate 90% of all the problems you will ever have if you surround yourself with the belt of truth. Surround yourself with truth. Make sure that only truth comes out of your mouth. If you will surround yourself with truth, 90% of your problems will go away. And it also says you're clothed with His righteousness. People listen. In these end times, all of us are being assaulted by Satan. He's a liar. Everything that he comes up with, all your past sins, everything, it's all forgiven. And now we have on the righteousness of Christ. Don't let Satan accuse you. Don't let him accuse you. It's all been forgiven and it's all been forgotten. The next one says, your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel. People, listen. Always be willing and ready to point people to God. Never miss an opportunity. Whenever you're in a conversation, all you have to say is, well, you know what? The Bible talks about that. Or just tell somebody, well, listen, man, that sounds like, yeah, that's messed up. But listen, have you ever given God a try? And if you don't believe in God, I got a test for you. Simply one night when you're laying in your bed, just look up and say, Heavenly Father, if you're there, if you're real, will you reveal yourself to me? That's all you got to tell people. Have your feet ready and prepared to present the gospel to people. 
And then verse 16 goes on to say, And taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. People, listen to me. The shield of faith is one of the most important things other than surrounding yourself with truth. People, it says that you'll be able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked one. People, the fiery darts of Satan are never going to stop. As long as you're in this body, those fiery darts are never going to quit. I've had more fiery darts fired at me in the last three months. I mean, it's been horrible. Seriously. But you know what? I mean, every time that I get some of the, all these fiery darts, you know, I, it makes me think, well, you know what? What you're doing is not making a difference. You know, you spend all this time making videos, uploading them, and it, it's not making any difference. But you know what? Those are thoughts that come straight from the devil. Anytime you hear words in your head, that is a demonic entity putting those words in there. So you have to have the shield of faith. And with the shield of faith, I just say, you know what? I don't care. I don't care. If I make videos for years and years and years and years, and I think I've already made like 1,600 videos. People, listen. If just one person gets saved, it's all worth it. Just one out of all those videos. It's worth it. Satan gives me a barrage and I just stand behind the shield of faith and tell him, I don't care. I'm just going to keep on doing what I'm doing. I don't have to worry about the results. That's God's problem. I just put the word out there. God will give the increase. The shield of faith. You have to stand behind it. Those fiery darts will tear you up. Verse 17 says, And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. People, listen. You have to be confident in your salvation. You cannot be questioning your salvation. You have to be confident. And how can you be confident in your salvation? You can be confident when you stand on the promises of God. The promises of God is what allows you to be confident in your salvation. Now listen to what it says. 1 John 1 9. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That is an absolute promise of God. People, if you have ever with a pure heart said, Lord, I mess up every day. Father, I'm, I'm, I'm pitiful. Heavenly Father, would you please forgive me? People, a promise of God. God says it. I will forgive you and I will cast those sins into the sea of forgetfulness. You have to be confident in your salvation. You have to be confident in your forgiveness. The only way you can have that confidence is when you rest on the promises of God. Take God at His word. God says if you confess your sins with a pure heart, He'll forgive them. Case closed. It's a done deal. Next time a demonic entity tries to bring one of them up, tell them to go to hell. And the next one, John 3.16. For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. People, those are the two scriptures. Confess your sins, 1 John 1, 9, God will forgive you. And God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. And believes is not belief. Believes. That's when you internalize Him. You make Him your own. You invite Him into your heart. A belief is just something you have in your head. This is heart knowledge. People, listen. You have to be confident in your salvation. Because if you don't, the demonic host will tear you up. So listen. Number one. Put on the belt of truth. People, try keep your tongue, keep your teeth on your tongue. Whenever anything tries to slip out of your mouth that's not true, bite your tongue. I'm serious. If you will put on the belt of truth and you will surround yourself with truth, 90% of your problems will go away. And number two, take that shield of faith. Stand behind that shield of faith. Believe God's promises. And whenever those fiery darts start coming in, 
Just say, Lord Jesus, I got a fiery dart coming in. Lord, would you please handle it? And he will. Stand behind that shield of faith. Always be ready to point others toward God and take on that helmet of salvation. Be confident in the promises of God. People, we got this. Listen, we don't have much longer. I'm going to start doing a set of videos that, uh, that are going to be pretty wild. But listen, 2020s, the 2020s, we're 2021 right now, the next eight years. People, we will never see the 2030s. We will never see them. And I'm going to get into that in some future videos. People, listen, you got this. You can do this. Heaven or hell, you choose. Just remember, once you take your last breath, it's a done deal.